Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to use an autofill feature on Microsoft Excel. So first of all, we have some data on our Excel sheet as you can see. And we're going to be working on the total right here. So if you go ahead and select the total, you're going to see that we have a little green square around the total. That means that the cell is selected. And what we want to do here is we're going to drag the total across the sheet. So when you hover over, you're going to see that, what is that? You're going to see that we get a little cross, a white one, a black one, and a four directional one. So when you get this black cross, it means that you can drag across the sheet and it's going to copy everything that's on the cell. So if we drag it, click it and drag it over, it's going to copy the same cell. So we got a total right there. So we deleted it. See how we have a white cross right now. So we're going to go back to our total. We're going to click it and we're just going to drag it to the other end. So it changed automatically all of the totals, which is great. This is a really good feature that Excel has to make everything go a little bit faster so you don't waste time when making reports. And we're just going to drag it down. So see how everything in our document changed. So we're just going to undo that. We just want to go back to our previous document when we first started. Okay. So right now we have this formula over here in C12. So we're just going to delete all of the one, all of those and we're going to click on C12 and we're going to look for the formula that we have here. So as you can see we have a sum formula for all of those cells and we're just going to drag it across February, March, and April. So we're going to wait for the black cross. Once we got it, you just drag to the right. And what it does is going to grab the formula that it has on C, on the C cell, and it's going to implement it to column D, E, and F. So all of the totals that we see here are the ones for each month. If we actually double click on the cell on D12, on D12, you're going to see on the status bar that we see D7 plus D8 plus D9 plus D10. So this is the formula that has been adjusted. If we click on E12, we're going to see the formula right above. And the same for F12, you see the formula right above. So this is really great when making reports for clients. And you just want to save a little bit of time. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, please comment below and remember to like our YouTube channel.